Hey, KIC here. Welcome back to some more Ark Survival Evolved. In the last episode, I was talking to you from the past, and I'm still doing so. And basically, last episode decided to go get some metal, because I am all about heavy metal, or metal. And there, right there, is some of it. So I've got it cooking. Now, if you look at the time of day compared to when I ended yesterday's episode, well, I didn't really show you what time of day it was, but trust me, a lot more time has passed than you might otherwise think, considering I only have eight ingots that I'm working on there. And seeing all this stuff rolling through here makes me think maybe I should go ahead and grab this just to throw it in a box. So oh, you too, huh? And they all, you notice they're all going at the same time? What's up with that? So I know, this box is going to be full now, but I can pull some bags of fertilizer out and I'll take care of it. So here, let's do that. I'll just grab a couple. Make some room for the thatch that I'll inevitably need to throw in there. In fact, here, let's just go ahead and throw this in here, and you're going to see one of the things I'm going to be working on today. That's it right there. So I've decided, just for kicks, in part because this is going to take a little while, and I need a bunch of... Wow, how did I get an odd number? I don't understand. Oh no, never mind. Duh. I was looking at that backwards. Never mind. Ignore me. But I thought it might be kind of fun to just goof around, make some paint. Essentially, that's what this is. Make some paint, and we'll do... Oh, let's do... I don't know. We need quite a few of these, I think. So we'll do... That's going to be way more than I need, actually. Way, way more than I need. And in fact, here, let's just go ahead and drop all those in there right now, just that way, uh, yeah. One of them is going to spoil before I even get a chance to to work on this, so you know, that's okay. I have a water skin on number seven, so why don't we go ahead and take care of that. Water skin, and then what do I have in here? Do I have any charcoal in there? I do have some charcoal in there. I'm going to need a little bit more. I have quite a few in this box right here, so I'll just do ten. I don't, I'm not really actually counting what I need. I'm just kind of throwing some Mm, no, you don't go in there. Ah, look at that. I forgot I can just take it off my torch. I have some in there. Um, we'll throw one wood in there right now just because I don't actually have enough water in there to keep that cooking. So I know I have some water skins lying around. So I'm just going to grab all these guys. And did I even put the water skin in there? I sure didn't. Yeah, I did. But I did I put in one that had water? Probably not. So let's grab that guy because I need to go fill these up with water. So anyway, I haven't really gone into basically the cooking pot or anything along those lines yet, but the cooking pot lets you make foods that, you know, you can eat. They give you different buffs, that sort of thing, but it also lets you make paint. Why would you want paint? I don't know, why not? I mean, you want to make your place look different from your neighbors, that sort of thing. That's kind of what you want to do. They call it coloring. I mean, it's pretty much paint. Granted, I have to be honest, I haven't looked all that closely into how this works, but I kind of think I have an idea. Here, we'll throw... I don't know if I need more than that in there. That might actually be enough. But that'll be good enough for now. And then I believe what you want to do once you have all this paint in here. Let's go ahead and grab that one. We can get ten just like so. Then you look around and find where you have a paintbrush. At least that's what I'm guessing. Now... I gotta tell you, I'm not quite sure how it works from here. Hmm, what if I right-click? What if I do that? Aha, there you go. I just dragged that bad boy on there. You can see the paintbrush now is red. And, um, well, let's, let's just start right there. How does this work? Oh, look at that. You get a choice of your color regions. Oh, that's pretty awesome, actually. I'm, I'm not expecting this as an option. Can you, can you spin around? I want to take a look like that. There we go. We're going to dye that. Okay, so they call it dyes, whatever. Um, okay, that's that's what I wanted to do. So how does that work now? I, I don't understand. Do I right-click? I don't right-click. Am I magically dyeing it as I'm... I don't appear to be. What about you? Can I Can I do this? Hmm, can I do that one? That one I can. Oh, you know what? I better did it on the inside. Oh, duh. Okay, so 
that one is backwards for what I'm thinking of. So I don't want to do that one. I want to do... Hmm. I guess I can't do it because... Maybe that one? Aha, there we go. So now my inside is going to be all funky and I'm going to have to fix that. What happens if I... Sorry, I'm, I'm really just... Oh, okay. I can paint a little more than I thought with it. Okay, good. So I can do this one. This is kind of slow and painful, I gotta tell you. So theoretically, I can do that, and then do that. And I still have some more paint on the brush. Okay, let's try and get that. Try and get the wall, not the ramp that, never mind the ramp that just magically sticks out. No one is talking about the ramp. Okay, and now it has run out of paint. So, now my question is, can I come in here and... No, I cannot do anything about that red inside. Well, maybe I'll have to do some painting indoors. There might be something... I haven't looked too closely at the dye system yet. There might be a paint thinner, a paint remover, something along those lines. I'm not 100% sure yet, but hey, just the same. This is kind of cool. In fact, this goes a lot further than I thought it would. So here, let's just do a few more of these right quick and... Maybe I'll do the rest of them off camera because I didn't realize it was going to take this long to do everything. There we go. I've got 20 ingots good to go. Oh, I get to do this again, huh? So, okay. So let's stop and take a look at this. I believe I want region 6. There we go. Perfect. So that means I can do region 6 on this one. I'm just going to go ahead and do the entire bottom, let's say bottom floor, but... Well, that would actually be more. So, Racer X, I need to park you a little further out of the way there, buddy. Your tail's kind of in the way. I don't want to paint you. I don't think you can really paint the dinosaurs, but don't tell him that. Okay, so, there we go. That's a start. I'm not going to leave it like that, mind you. I will do some additional painting and other assorted stuff. I don't think I want a red ramp. Just out of curiosity, can you... Can you do foundations? Oh, look at that. You sure can. So I could do some floors a little later if I wanted to. Now, before I get going here, actually, you know what? I think I need more... I think I need more metal, so I might need to take a break here. Let me grab... Uh, sure, let's just grab the rest of it. I think I'm going to have to work on this a little more. I'll take a look in just a moment here and confirm. And we'll just go ahead and throw that in there. Let's take a look at the smithing bench right quick here. So weapons, melee. So the pike is going to need 10 ingots. Okay, so I can work with this. One ingot for the pick. That's kind of nice. Eight for the hatchet. So I'm going to be able to do this, assuming I can come up with enough hides. I have quite a few hides on me. I have 18. I say quite a few, I know that's really not all that many. Freya here, we were just recently out and about running around together. And what else did I need? Is it wood or fiber? I, I gotta admit, I didn't pay close attention because I was more concerned with what I needed for hides and iron. So Sauron, my good friend over here, should have some wood on him. So I'm just going to take a little extra wood off of Sauron there. And as I'm running through here, there should be a boatload of paint in here. Look at that. I have red coloring coming out my ears at this point in here. Just to prove to you I'm done for the moment with this stuff, I'm going to go ahead and put that back. And then let's go over here to the smithing bench. And I should be able to dump in some wood, dump in some ingots. And what else did I need? Hides. I need 20 hides. And now I should be able to go to weapons, go to pike, and let's go ahead and craft this bad boy. And maybe I'll uh, go give it a quick spin because I think that might be kind of fun. So I'm going to go ahead and take that out of there. And just because I can, if I can find a box somewhere, I'm going to drop all my spears in. And I do have one last thing to do before this episode is done. So stabbing things in their face sort of area won't be the last thing I do, assuming I can find one reasonably nearby. I don't think I'm going to be able to kill this guy. He's just going to take off and fly, so see ya. 
yeah, he heard me talking and he's like, yeah, buddy, I'm out. I'm checking out. I'm done. Is there anything over here? Something nearby? I really would like to give this a whirl. No? Anyone? Do I have some berries on me? Here, let me eat those really quickly here. I'm not going to eat the narco berry. I was about to start clicking and I realized, nope, that's not one I want to chew on. Well, it might be kind of funny to knock myself out. I don't really want to do that. And I can't find anyone nearby. Wow. Hmm. All right, so be it. The pike will wait for another episode. I know, you might already have experience using it. I don't. Believe it or not, I am actually taking my time playing this game so much so that I still haven't even tried a pike out. Haven't bothered to log on to any other servers, to anything like that. Nope, this is actually my game right here. I have said it before, I basically only play it when I'm recording, so... If I'm not recording, or I'm not setting up such that I'm about to start recording, then, uh... Yeah, I'm pretty much not playing. 